It's a girl's day and we are doing nails. Wave hi. Hi. What's nail day? Girls. Moo You wanna get your nails done? Get your nails done, Moo Moos. Come in. We're all trying to do our nails here. It's girls nail day. I'm starting to brown some bratwurst and then I transfer them over here to the crock pot with some onion and actually kind of cut up some green pepper and make a meal for everybody today um, whenever everybody's hungry. It'll just take a few hours to cook and we're going to have some bratwurst and I'm going to make some homemade potato salad. So I thought that would be nice for the group to have today. Browning these bad boys up and putting them into the crock pot now. All the bratwursts are ready, and I put peppers in there, and onions, and I have the potato salad, and I also cooked some... And chips and dip. Thank you, Chuck, for having us. We appreciate it. Very nice host. <laughs> I told Steve he's in there napping. You having fun? Yep. What do you water in there? Uh, apple trees and some fruit. What? Or apple trees, you said. I believe there's apple trees here. Apple trees and a mulberry. Mulberry. He loves doing yard work. You telling me you had planned? Um, today we're going to try to look for Holly's. Uh, orange ball because uh -huh. we couldn't find it anywhere. Okay. Um, then we got like we're gonna water those trees out over there. Go to the and then the, lunch stand. Yeah. Yeah. Hamburger house. Yay. Good morning, Moo Moo. Chuck knows of this little food stand. It's got like American food, brats, hamburgers, and stuff. So Aj and Dave, and I think Trevor's also, oh, is Trevor riding with them? Yes. Okay. I saw his doors open on his, Windows his up. rig. But yeah, we're gonna go check out this cute little hamburger stand. We're all taking the dogs. It's an outdoorsy thing. And he said it's real busy, so. We can either eat there if it's not too busy, or we can bring it back here. So we're taking the dogs just in case because they have picnic tables and stuff. So that'd be fun. They're piled into Chuck's rig and we're just driving our car. Hamburger house. You ready to eat? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Dog friendly, they have a little outside table, so we're going to get some lunch. We've had a good stay at Chuck's. Thanks again, Chuck, for having us at your property. We've had a great time with everyone, and we're about to take off. We're going to go up to Sturgeon Bay to Tranquil Timbers. It's an uh, RV park through Thousand Trails. Getting ready to travel, getting everything. Uh, secured and ready. So we'll see you on the road. Anyway, one show. We've said our goodbyes and our see you down the roads to Aja and Chuck. And I've been looking for Dave. He's not in his van. He could be inside the house. I'm going to pull forward and see if I can find him so we can say goodbye. And then we're going to head out and go back north a couple of hours. I think I said already to Sturgeon Bay. Oh, okay, so we got our goodbyes in. We found Dave. We all sexy it down the road. Steve has to turn around. And I have to find the directions to search and bay from here.
a quarter mile, turn left onto County Road. side they have a really shaded area here. I think we're going to be near the pool. It happens to be Friday because we had to keep pushing it out a day after day after day because we got our brakes done and then we went to Chuck's and stayed for a few days. So we decided to come up here today and meet Carolyn. We're going to be here for several days and now I just have to register. That goes in your car. It's right there. Now I was. Well, I guess I can give this to you, and your husband can call you in the rig. Sure. Okay. Sure. <clears throat> Thank Rules you. and rigs are in there. Okay. Thank you. We found our site, but we have to go dump. And we're gonna actually pull in this way. That way we have this whole front yard right here, since we're on the end. And we're right by the swimming pool and we're a couple spots over from Carolyn. And look who we have for neighbors. Look how cute our little neighbors are here. Three cutie patooties. So I think if we park with our door facing away from them. Banjo won't be barking a lot. We'll have more privacy too. Cute. They're all different colors. There's a white, a tan, and a fawn. 